Hey guys, it's Benny from BennyKates.com. I just wanted to jump on real quick. I keep getting asked what editing software I use, and the truth be told, I usually just use Windows Media Player. But over like the last four or five months, I've been using a lot of different trial software to see if there was something that could do what I wanted to do that was easy to use and actually fell into my price range because the software I want is too expensive. I just can't afford it. I did find some software that I really like and this is actually going to be a review of that product. I want to tell you about the product and show you a few of the things that it can do and it's actually a lot more affordable than other programs in the same capability range. Do you know what I mean? Other programs that can do what this one can do usually cost a couple of hundred dollars and this one I think is just like 50 or 54. So um, stick around and watch this product review and I hope you like it. If you want to see more kinds of reviews on software or hardware or things like that, I am kind of a computer junkie. So just post your comments down below. Let me know what you want to see and I'll be more than happy to try to get those up for you. Anyway, here's the review. All right, you guys, this video is just going to be like a really quick um, review of this software that I found. I absolutely love it. So I've been, because editors cost so much money, I've been kind of using trials at different versions, trying to find which one is going to be worth my money. I actually found one that I really like. It's almost idiot proof. It's, you know, very what you see is what you get, like Windows uh, Movie Maker is. And it's affordable. So that's what I want to show you today. Um, let me show you a few things. This program is called TrackAx PC. It is very user friendly. When you first fire it up, it's going to look like this. And then you're going to think, oh my gosh, there's so much stuff. I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm going to give you a basic rundown of what's in the default panel. And then I'm going to show you how I use it. That way you get a gist of some of the things that the software can do. It does come with um, a file browser, so you technically don't have to have the folders open and pull your, you know, looking through for your media or the things you want in your video. You don't have to be going through folders because they're right here in the file browser for you. I actually don't use this. I like having most of my screen for the individual tracks that are in my video and for the preview pane, so I pretty much X everything else off. But the fact that this tool is here uh, I'm sure some people will find this very useful. And like I said, this um, the layout of the program is very customizable, which is a big plus. The only thing that it can't do that I wish it did was on my desktop, I actually have dual monitors. So I have two screens for one computer. The palettes, even though you can move all the palettes around, they are actually locked. They're locked into this screen, so I can't say drag this palette over to my secondary monitor. It starts out over here. Pretty much, if you mouse over something, which I can think you can see over on the right, it's actually changing, and it'll tell you, you know, these. It's like tips. It's like a tip list. I actually don't leave this open either. I, like I said before, I don't want anything on here taking up room. Um, so we'll just close that off. And then this is the track cutter. This program, I think, was originally made for people to do, like, um, music cuts. I don't actually use this paint either. I've never used it for anything, so I actually closed that off, too. And what that leaves me with is the track window and the live preview window. So the basic rundown of the program, you've got save folder where you can browse and open stuff. Um, your video output, you can pop up the preview window. You can actually pop that up to full screen. The microphone is for when you want to narrate something. You can rip it straight to a CD. The track cutter, which is that little thing I closed before. The media browser, I've already closed. You see that right there. Um, they have a hot button that will take you to their website where the support, they have tutorial videos. Excellent website. Um, online support will take you straight to their sites. They have loops that you can buy, which is like audio, like sound effects. There are online forums, which are kind of new, but they are, I was looking through it last night. They are very fast to reply. Like if you have a question or a bug, they are super quick to reply on there. I also can speak from experience. Um, I tweeted someone else about this software, and within probably, I don't know, 
18 hours, the owner of the company had tweeted me back and said they would, because I said, you know, I would love it if this program was, un you could undock the pallets. And right after that, I had gotten off the computer, went to bed, woke up the next morning, and there was a reply from the owner saying, thank you for your suggestion. So they actually care about what their users want from their software, which a lot of companies, they don't pay attention. And to me, that's a biggie. Uh, I think the company is based in Scotland or Ireland. I can't remember. So they're actually on a different time zone than us in the United States. But there was still a, that was a super quick turnaround from their people to their customer base. Do you know what I mean? I'd also emailed their uh, support person and I got a reply within like four hours. A lot of companies are not that quick. But anyway, I'm just rambling now about the, the setup of the program, which is what I know you guys want to see. I'm going to show you some of the basic things that the program can do. So this don't look like it can do anything. So let's pull a video in. So when you pull a video in, it's going to pull it in, and you see it's parsing. What it's doing is reading the file. This is a file that you've already recorded, and now we're going to get in here and edit. You can see this is the audio track, and it's going to take it a few seconds to do the video track. I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the other features while we're waiting for that to parse. You can choose how you want this to export or how you want it to save. There are several settings, all different sizes. Um, you can choose whatever works best for your computer. Some computers can't do the HD. Some computers can. I have been exporting on YouTube HD. You can see they have YouTube Full HD, which will do it at 1080, but I don't see the reason for me to do that because my, my webcam can't do 1080. So, I just choose the 16 by 9 which is the 720p, and it will still show up as an HD option on YouTube. So that's what I select for mine. For your buttons, you have, of course, stop. You have play, so you can watch down here in the video. Um, you can play it and see what it's going to actually look like or see where you're editing on your video at. You've got the loop play. It'll, you can mark a segment, and it'll play it repeatedly. This goes back all the way to the beginning. That takes it just a little bit back. Um, play it in reverse, which cracks me up. It will play it backwards. This is uh, just the play rate. I don't mess with that. That spe It'll speed up the video an audio, or it will slow it down. Pan balance, that's if you want your audio to, say, just come out of the left speaker or just come out of the right speaker. I always leave that alone. I keep it at 100%. Um... Mute all. You can mute all the sounds. And there we can see my video has finally parsed. This is the play bar. Now, the thing I like about this software is, say, um, I'll link to it here. Say I, say I decided I didn't want to link to it and I need to cut that out. I can actually highlight the section ad adjust it to wherever I actually want to cut and this is my favorite thing because you can use the play bar and slow go over it to make sure you're not cutting out anything you don't want to cut out you can also hit play and the play bar is going to stop wherever you stopped your drag. So you can actually see exactly what you're cutting out. And then you just right click and cut it and it takes it out. And then you can either insert something else or you can connect your two files. So then you can't even tell that there was something else there. I love the... It's so... Um, Accurate. You have total control over what you're going to cut out and what you're not. Say you just wanted to split segments. You didn't have anything you wanted to delete. You just want to split it, spread it apart, and maybe insert a picture. All you have to do is select your two segments. See the dancing ants? Select your two segments. Right click. Split selected segments at play cursor. And it's going to cut it in half for you. And then you can slide it apart. And you'll have space where you can um, insert a picture if you want to. 
The other thing that this software can do that Windows Movie Maker cannot is like the picture and picture deal. You can do it with videos. You can put photos in, which I actually, let's, um, I'll show you how quick and easy it is to put a photo in there. Okay, so now say, Bunny, uh, what are you doing? That's not where you want that picture to be, and you're right, it's not. So I can actually adjust the size of the picture and where I want the picture to be on my video with just a couple of clicks of the button, and when I have, like, I like it, I'm done. Now I can play it back, and my photo is inserted. And if you don't want it to just pop in, say you wanted it to fade in, you can adjust the fade. Just a click, just a little click of your mouse. And it'll fade. Everything is set up so user-friendly. It has more capabilities than what um, most other. F that picture-in-picture -picture feature is what you find in three and $400 software. Um, this software, I believe, is $50.00. To me, that sounds so much better than $400. The program I was going to buy was like $1,100. And Lindsay, um, the book blogger, just happened to tell me about this one. So I downloaded the trial of it, and I absolutely love it. I love the features of it. I love that it's, um, I, it's what you see is what you get. Like, if you insert something right there, that's where it's going to be. You don't have to do any guesswork. Even the... It has, you know, effects that you can add to your video. Say I wanted to make that picture um, sepia. There's the effect. You can put it in wherever you want it to take effect. You can control. See, there's almost full. You can actually control how much of the effect it applies to it. So we didn't want it to go all the way full. Or we wanted it to go all the way full and not fade back out. All of the effects are editable. I just love it. I think it is so user-friendly. The fact that you can save it to your hard drive by clicking Export Mix. You can upload it directly to YouTube by clicking um, Upload to YouTube. You put your username and your information in here, and it will save it to your channel for you after it's finished saving it. Like, it'll render it to and then upload it for you. You don't have to put anything else in. I just think they really went above and beyond in friendly interface. They've also really tried to put in the features that are the most useful. The picture-in-picture picture is almost a have-to-have. Uh, feature, especially for what I do, like talking about books and showing the book covers and things like that, you almost have to have the picture and picture feature or you have a lot of dead space in your videos. It's very hard to edit that with free software. This, you just pull it on your timeline and you're done. Boom, it, it's there and it works. Um, and like I said, you can do it with stills. You can do it with other videos. So if I wanted to put, you know, a clip of the video I uploaded two weeks ago in here, I could. Um, so that is my basic roundup of the software. Strike Axe PC, I'll put a link for it down below. They also have a channel here on YouTube with uh, video tutorials if you want to check that out. I highly suggest if you are looking for a new video editing software, that you go download the trial and give it a try because it's affordable if you decide to buy it. It is way more affordable than most of the other video editors out there. It has so many features. I've only been using it for about a week, so I'm sure there's stuff that it can do that I've not quite figured out yet. Um, yeah, so I guess that's it. I hope you liked this review or this overview of this product. Out of probably six, five or six different video editors I've tested in the last month. This is by far my favorite. So, um, yeah, if you have any questions about it, you can leave them down below. I just think it's great. I hope you give it a trial. I know a lot of you have messaged me wanting to know what software I'm using, and this is what I've been using for about the last week, week and a half. I absolutely love it. I'm so glad that Lindsay told me about it because I don't think the name 
the name Track XPC. I'd never heard it b before. I wouldn't have known the software existed had somebody not told me about it. And so now I'm telling you about it. It's affordable and it has great features. I hope you check it out. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, I hope that was helpful. I'm really enjoying using this software. Um, I just can't go on enough about it. Big thanks to Lindsay, the book vlogger, for telling me about it because I had never heard of it before, and I'm really, really pleased. So this is the software I'll be using from now on, so now you guys can quit asking. Thanks for watching. See ya.